Hi, my name is John Hostetter, and I'm proud to say that I became a stud at Catawba College in 1964. It was my freshman year when my roommate David Young and I joined forces with Skip Henry, Ken Canvas, and Leon Burleson, all class of 68, and formed a little combo called The Studs. We played music by the Beatles, the Stones, all the great groups of the 60s, played a bunch of campus concerts, uh, even one memorable show at Livingston College where they had to put a halt to the proceedings because we had the audience dancing in the aisles and coming up on stage. In 1965, Robert Hudson replaced Leon on drums, and Jeff Manns joined the group to play bass. Also, at this time, David and Ken started devoting more time to their studies, or Alice Nighthawk, I can't remember which. But we played regularly at a place called the Twilight Lounge out on Route 29, also downtown at the Keg on Main Street. And we performed our last show together in Richmond, Virginia in 1968, opening for Mitch Ryder. Well, now we jump ahead 40 years. Everyone's gone on to careers and families, and they put to use all the things that they learned at Catawba. And Robert calls me in Florida talking about a visit. He then calls Skip and Jeff, and we also tracked down Ken and David, and all of a sudden we had a 40-year reunion in the works. Well, everyone came down to Florida in August of 2008, and with a day and a half of rehearsal, we played an hour-long set at a local club. The place was packed, the audience was a mix of locals and lots of family members and even some former classmates. It was a magical night. The crowd danced and hollered. It was just like being back at the Twilight Lounge. Well, we kept uh, Catawba's alumni director, Margaret Faust, in the loop uh, about all the fun we were having, sending pictures and press releases and a post-mortem on the gig. She was excited to book the band to Catawba for Homecoming 2008, but the timing wasn't right and we had to pass. Well, you can't keep a good alumni director down, and with some coordination and provocation from Phil May, 68, plans were set in motion for Homecoming 2009. Skip put together a workbook with CDs for the band so that everyone could rehearse on their own. And after getting together in August down in Florida to rehearse and perform, we now had two hours of material prepped and were ready to return to where it all began in 1964. Plus, Leon was back, and we were now complete. Well, Homecoming 2009 was a blast. Being together where we had first met and to wander the campus of fond memory lanes again was strange and delightful. We retold and laughed about many an adventure. There were also classmates from the 60s who had come just for this event. Some said we sounded even better than back in the day. I don't know if that's true, but I do know that something special happened. It was just like the alma mater says about those friendships time cannot outwear. And I think it was all because of rock and roll and Catawba College, of course. <laughs>